Hello, nice to see you here. In today's video, we will witness together how our very own Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq from Balboa Park, San Diego, is going to expose his own fake prophet Muhammad, who was a pagan from the pagan tribe of Mecca, the Quraysh. Sheikh ibn Farooq is going to destroy his own prophet and confirm that his prophet Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet and certainly not from the lineage of Ishmael and Abraham. Let us listen carefully what Sheikh Ibn Farooq said in one of his videos. He, 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 was, he was concerned, maybe I'm losing my mind. That's right, man. But, but then the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, Allah put around him those people that will console him like his wife yeah. Khatija. I mean again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. 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 Did you hear it from the cow's mouth? Sheikh Ibn Fibin, what did you say? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Muhammad comes not from the Abrahamic faith. Meaning, Muhammad has nothing to do with Ishmael and Abraham. Let us actually show it also and confirm it from the Islamic books to destroy Muhammad completely. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Did you hear it? He just confirmed it. Muhammad is not from the lineage of Abraham and Ishmael. Muhammad is a pagan. Thank you very much, Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq. Now to confirm what Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq said, let us go to the Seerah and Nabawiyah by Ibn Kathir, volume one, which is the life of the Prophet Muhammad. This is the title of the book. Let us read together and see how actually we have to agree that Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam, is nothing but a fake prophet and he's certainly not from the lineage of Ishmael. Here is page 51 from the book of Ibn Kathir. Page 51, if we scroll down, we will see the following. In this part, in the bottom of the page, we can read that as Suhaili commented also that Malik's viewpoint was analogous to what was related of Urwa bin Zubair, who is reported to have said, now listen carefully, we have found no one who knows the line between Adnan and Ishmael. It is reported that Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, Hibr al-Ummah, the ink of the Ummah himself, Tarjaman al-Quran, the translator of the Quran, he said, Ibn Abbas said, between Adnan and Ishmael, there were 30 ancestors who are unknown. Did you catch it? So nobody knows those names. It's unknown. So they cannot trace back the lineage of the Quraysh, including Prophet Muhammad of Islam, they cannot trace it back past Adnan. So there is a problem in the chain, basically. Ibn Abbas continues saying, Ibn Abbas is also reputed to have said, when he traced back lines of descent as far as Adnan, he said, and I quote, Ibn Abbas said, the genealogists have lied twice or thrice. And we continue reading in the bottom, Omar bin al-Khattab, Amir al-Mu'mineen, the caliph of the Ummah of his time, that Omar stated, we carry back the genealogy only as far as Adnan. As far as Adnan. So, they, <laughs> so in other words, they cannot trace the lineage back to Ishmael. We have a problem here. Houston, we have a problem here. So Muslims, you cannot prove to us that your prophet, as you have claimed for the last 1400 years, that his lineage goes back to Ishmael. So in other words, neither Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, or the Sahaba, or the Tabi'een, the successors of the Sahaba, nobody, no Muslim today can prove that Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, his lineage goes all the way back to Ishmael. And you see, on this family tree, we put a red cross because Muslims cannot connect the dots all the way back to Ishmael. The lineage is disconnected. Muslims cannot prove to us 
that their prophet, his lineage goes all the way back to Ishmael. That's a lie. Muslims have lied to us and you read with us. You read with me that the genealogists have lied twice or thrice. Muslims, stop lying to yourselves. Stop lying to us. You cannot prove that Muhammad's lineage goes all the way back to Ishmael or Abraham. That's a lie. And I challenge any sheikh, any imam to come to one of my live shows and refute me. Please call in and help the ummah. The ummah is drowning in the lies of the Muslim scholars and apologists. You Muslims cannot prove anything. We can only read in chapter 74, for example, ayah 5, that even Allah commanded Muhammad to stop worshipping idols. Yeah, Muhammad, stop worshipping idols. And if you go to Tafsir al-Tabari, for example, you will see that Allah said to Muhammad, stop worshipping idols and giving them service. Just go and read your books, ya Muslimin. Stop lying. It's game over. Thank you for watching and God bless. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith.